Hi, I'm Kariz Maggie, and this summer I got the wonderful opportunity to work at a Salvation Army camp for two months. Join me on my adventure. This is a web series called Maggie Goes to Camp. What up, guys? Kariz Maggie here, and welcome back to another video! Alright guys, so before we start this video, I just want to start off by saying a big big thank you to every single person who have been tuning in with the series, Maggie Goes to Camp. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for sharing with your friends, hitting that like button. And before I even continue with this video, if you haven't liked this video yet, just go, go, just go ahead and like it right now. Subscribe and share it with every single one of your friends, your grandma, your father, your mother. Your friends, your enemies, just share this video, okay? Okay, so by the title, you guys can see that this video is basically going to be me talking about the truth of camp and basically my camp experience. Now, I will start off by saying that not everyone's camp experience is going to be the same because depending on what camps you are hired for and where you go and all of that, the people you work with, all of that good stuff, your camp experience is going to be completely different. But for this video, I'm going to specifically be doing a pros and cons of working at a summer camp. Specifically, a Christian camp though. So let's just get into this video. Okay, so I'm not going to be going in any particular order. I'm just going to talk off the top of my head. Basically, camp is almost over. Um, I want to be able to share like some truths with you guys about what really goes on at camp sometimes. Um, just putting it out there we are not always sitting by a campfire holding hands being best friends singing kumbaya or anything like that it's not like that there are going to be bad days there are going to be good days but at the end of the day the importance when you work at a camp is that you know that you're there for a reason you're doing your jobs and that you're doing it well so i guess that's what i'm really going to be touching in this video so honestly i really believe that working at a camp is it can be one of the most rewarding things you can ever do with your summer whether it is a christian camp sports camp math camp whatever camp it is like there are so many camps out there so people usually say camp is not for everyone but honestly there is actually a camp out there for everyone depending on what you're into there is a place for you in camp once you're willing to like work with kids and just do the work the hard work but i'm not gonna lie to you guys there are some days when i was here at camp and i would just feel frustrated i was ready to go home like why did i even come here those questions would come in my head because even though i don't personally like work with the kids when i say that i mean um i'm not a camp counselor so i don't get assigned campers for the week or whatever time period we have our camps for i'm a program coordinator so i deal with campfires chapels and basically anywhere else they want me whenever they want me there i just help out like a support staff stuff like that but it can be so hard because you have to deal with these kids who like they come from homes that life isn't all that great and you're supposed to like always be loving and embracing them and understanding i know this was a struggle for some of our counselors this summer and it wasn't like the whole cabin that was like giving problems it would literally be like one two or three kids that was a problem and sometimes it would just take the counselors like they just needed a minute to like step away from the situation take time to process so that they don't like lash out immediately at the child and that's where our program staff support system would come in so they have head male head female counselors myself if they need me sometimes and other staff members like rec director arts and craft um, or a youth specialist they would be able to step in and help them diffuse a situation so that it doesn't get ugly real quick sometimes all it takes for us is to just put our pride aside and ask for help and someone is always there to help you that's like the reason we're here to be a support system to each other not just here for ourselves but also to ensure that everyone is in check mentally physically and just here for the kids and to teach them about Jesus and all that good stuff another thing that was a struggle I know campers have a problem or a struggle I said that word twice but whatever campers have a problem sometimes following rules and I found that as a staff like sometimes we had issues with dealing with some of the rules it was just like it was a bit too much but at the end of the day like you will always find that in a workplace or whatever you won't always like everything that is put in place 
and you should just focus on the things that you have control over so for our counselors they were able to um, interact with the kids so they did devotion with the kids they would play with the kids myself when I was in charge of like the chapels and like the sermons we would do and stuff like that those were the things I had control of so instead of like like concentrating all the time on the things I didn't like with rules or whatever someone said to me that I didn't like I would try and channel my energy on those things that actually mattered because at the end of the day it's the kids that matter they are the reason I came here in the first place not saying that it was easy to just keep it moving all the time sometimes you just had to like let out how you felt to like a friend and I'm just really really thankful for all the friends that I had at camp that kept me there at camp like physically emotionally when I would check out they would keep me in check like Maggie are you okay how are you doing and because people did that for me I was able to do that for other people because sometimes self-motivation is not enough and as much as self-motivation is important you also need motivation from other people so along the way we learned stuff that worked and stuff that didn't work and we just tried to support our staff as much as we could and I'm not gonna lie, I would say that it was successful, like our camp was successful despite all the hiccups we had along the way and all the drama or whatever that happened. I'm satisfied, I would say. Okay, now our staff. If you guys have not checked out my Meet the Staff video, it will be in the description box below. It will also be on this icon here or you can just look for it at the end of this video. So wait till this video is done, you guys will see it. But we had an incredible staff, I'm not even gonna lie, we had an incredible... Blah, blah, we had an incredible staff and usually it's it's very rare that you have a put together staff at a camp especially for two months but for this year I felt satisfied with our staff like everyone came with their own personalities their own things to offer let me just wait everyone came with their own little package what they could offer we all came from different backgrounds and usually for a Christian camp especially, it's really, really hard like to really find people who are about teaching kids about God and sharing the love of God with them. Because sometimes in these situations, people just come like as a vacation to have fun so they could visit this country or that country or meet this person from that country. But I did not get that vibe from our staff. So any other staff members, if you're watching this right now, shout out to you, you guys did incredible. Now I will say this, there were times when you had to put some of the staff members in check and that is always going to happen. Sometimes we're going to check out without even knowing to say and we're like not there mentally. We start slacking on our jobs, but at the end of the day, that's why we had some of us in the positions that we were in so that we could be checking up on each other holding them accountable because that is very very important for a camp like this you have to hold each other accountable when they're not really in the game they're slacking off and all of that now, i've mentioned self-motivation and motivation from others and encouraging words that is like a driving factor when working at a summer camp it is needed because as i said sometimes you check out and you're not there mentally and you're not with it and you just need people to like surround you with positive energy to keep you going but you also need to be a self-motivated person like ask yourself a question like why are you here what is your purpose for being here at first if I'm going to be honest I did not know actually why I was here like of course I knew what I was supposed to be doing my job description and all of that but I was just thinking sometimes like why am I here like what is my purpose I did not understand even though I was here physically mentally I wasn't here for like the first two weeks but as the weeks went along like I did my thing I had helps from my helps I had help from my friends other staff members and they kept me going motivating me and through them motivating me I was able to motivate myself as well because every day you can't have people motivating you you need to be self-motivated as well and I tried to do that for other people where I would see that they were down and ask them how they were doing, motivate them as well, tried my best helping them out. So working at camp, you need to be a motivational person, encouraging, not judgmental, judging each other because it is so hard not to do that at camp. Literally, I'm in the mountains with a bunch of people for like two months and there are days when you don't have access to Wi-Fi like that all the reality TV shows you probably used to watch and you can't watch it so it's very easy to like stumble into like drama and rumors and 
yeah it yeah it's it's easy it's not that hard but it's harder to step away from it but at the end of the day it's better for you to just stay out of the drama and all of that and just know why you're here to literally like minister to kids through singing in praise and worship doing campfires just sharing my like goofy personality with them i got to meet like incredible kids and some days when i felt like i wasn't doing my job properly and that everything wasn't up to par i would have kids come up to me like oh my gosh like campfire was so awesome and, and i'm like what and they're like oh like chapel was great today and i'm just there like really you're probably not seeing it right now but along the line like a couple years from now they probably remember that one counselor they had or that one staff member that worked at camp and it probably changed their lives so that's how i look at it finally camp should be thought of as like a safe space so we have campers unfortunately that come from homes that their life is just like when you hear some of their stories like you really wonder and it really makes you be grateful for your own life and it really makes you think about how you act towards people because you never know what's going on in their lives type of thing and you have kids like they come to camp and they're still being bullied and you have to be able to like step in and stop that from happening because it's bad enough when they're going to school they're being bullied imagine them for the whole summer they're coming to camp they're getting bullied like that's just not fun so a part of our job involves like just paying a close eye to stuff like that shutting it down immediately letting the kids know that they're loved not just by um god and all of that because all of that is great but they need to know that they're loved by us and that we actually care about them and that they are here and that we love that they are here so anyways guys i'm going to end off this video right now i'm pretty sure i went off topic with some of these stuff but you guys get the message camp can be the best place in the world but it can only be the best place in the world if everyone is doing their job teamwork is there if everyone comes together and know that they're here for one common cause it's not a competition we're all here for one purpose and it is to minister to the kids show them the love of god and let them know that no matter what they're being told by the world or by family and friends and all of that that they matter to god and that they are the child of a king so i want to shout out all of the staff members at high peak camp thank you thank you thank you guys for your hard work this summer we have one more week left one more week to go and then we say our goodbyes but i just thought that i would make this video so that you guys could know how much you are appreciated even if you don't feel like you are sometimes i appreciate you guys thanks for being awesome and for the rest of you who are watching this video thank you for tuning in remember all that i was saying it doesn't just apply to cam let it apply to your everyday life with your attitude it can really make your lives better even when things aren't going like how you want it to go think positive thoughts and positive things will happen until next time don't forget to do road and do things and maggie is 